When would a cost plus contract type for the architect's fees make sense? Choose three. So the choices we have are when the project is a hospital, uh, simple rote projects that are likely to be very repetitive, for example, small tenant layouts for a building owner, that, you know, some building that has many tenants in it and they change over a lot. C, highly unusual projects. So for example, a superstructure for a large scale artist installation that has many hard to define elements at the time of the contract. D, a project type that has never been done before. E, a single family house. F, government work. So essentially a cost plus is a situation where uh, you are going to say, this is all of our costs that we've gone through to do this project for you. And the plus is we also want uh, a little bit of profit at the end. So you're essentially saying, you know, it took us X number of hours. This is how much we charge per hour. This is all of our other costs. And you're going to give us 8% uh, uh, profit, something like that. When would you want to do a cost plus? Well, the kind of main answers to that are going to be, uh, like imagine you're saying to an owner, hey, don't worry about it. We're going to do this uh, hourly. You know, you will start now and every hour we spend on it, we'll charge you for. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Well, the owners obviously are going to be a little nervous, right? Because you could do hourly forever and just keep charging them and keep making the drawings more and more detailed or something. And there's no end point, right? So there's lots of projects where that just doesn't make any sense. And so cost plus just isn't the right way to deal with it. But if you think about it from the other way, Imagine a situation where there's a very, there's a whole lot of unknowns, right? What would you do as an architect if you were in that situation where you had to put a fee number on a situation that you just couldn't tell exactly what was going to happen? Well, you would put a very big fee just to kind of cover yourself. And then if everything went really simply and smoothly, you'd still get that big fee whether you needed all that extra money for time or not. And so in those situations, that's when it makes sense to be working on that kind of hourly basis because then it makes sense from the owner's standpoint, they don't want you to just cover yourself and add 50% to your fee uh, because you just, you're not sure. They want, in that situation, just do it hourly and we'll give you a reasonable profit on the top, but you have to prove to us your hourly. So it's a huge amount of paperwork that you go through in order to make that uh, understandable to the uh, clients. Uh, so, which projects does this make sense? So, clearly, highly unusual projects, uh, for this example of the artist installation, uh, a project that's never been done before, that's totally a reasonable answer, because a project that's never been done before, like, well, if there's some, like, highly new technological thing that nobody's ever tried before, you would cover yourself. You would want to make sure you had enough money in your fee if anything went wrong that you could keep keep working on it. That's a perfect thing to be doing as an hourly cost plus idea. And then the flip of that is simple rote projects where there's just sort of a relationship. You're going to have one and you're going to flip that out. It takes a couple days. You then get another one. Really, you're going to stop and make like full on uh, proposals for a three day project. Uh, you're going to have uh, back and forth the normal way. No, you just, they're just going to say, all right, we got another one for you. You know, it's unit uh, F now. And so you're going to sit down, you're going to do unit F, you're going to keep track of your hours, you're going to give them the cost plus of a fee, and there you go, it's done. So those are the kinds of things that fit well with cost plus. All the other ones could be a cost plus, but there's no reason, there's no compelling reason in an abstract sense that they would be.